I'm Saul Kirsch of Double Alpha Academy and today I'd like to introduce you to our very latest iPhone iPod application, the ISSF Trainer. This is our first application for Olympic rifle and pistol shooters and it is a very useful tool that will enable you to keep track of your practice sessions, the location of shots, positions as well as the time, total practice, a lot of information that you can either keep on your iPhone or export by email uh, and file away. So this is the application. As you enter the application, you are requested to either open a pre-created session or in this case we can create a new session. And we'll call this session um, test one. You can enter any name you choose. You can adjust the date to show the date of your practice session. You have data fields that will enable you to enter information about the shooting range where you're shooting. The discipline is important because this will determine the target that is used for you during the session and let's select the 10 meter air rifle. Other fields allow you to record information about the shooting conditions, the equipment notes and other information that you choose to record about this practice or match session. You save your session and then when you're ready to start you load up your session. At the moment it shows that the elapsed time is zero and no shots have been recorded so you click on the start session which now brings up the target and since we selected the 10 meter air rifle this is the type of target that we see. When you place your finger on the screen the bullet can be then positioned within a tenth of a point and it is automatically stored after a short two second delay. So while you're on the firing line and practicing you need to take no action other than lead, put your finger on the screen, position the shot and release. You can immediately go back to your shooting routine with minimum disruption. Each shot that you position on the target is then recorded. As you can see the shot counter progresses. The middle clock shows you the time that that particular shot took. So it starts running anew each time you position a shot. The right clock shows you the total elapsed time of your practice session. And as you position further shots you progress through the practice and create the group. If you've made a mistake and you'd like to go back to adjust, you can do that. I can reposition shot number six and then go back and it's waiting for shot number seven. I can position shot number seven and automatically continue. The target displayed is only the eight, nine and ten rings because that's usually what we need. But should you wish to or need to position a shot further away from the center, you can zoom out, position your shot as far out as you need to, 4.4. That would be bad, but there you go. And now you progress to shot number nine and you can continue. The type of target and the size of the bullet hole created is determined when you select the discipline that you're training. Now let's say that during your practice session you want to make an adjustment to your equipment and you want that to be reflected in the information that's stored. Well at any time you can go to the notes and enter a note about some kind of modification that you uh, decided to do. Let's say uh, lower shoulder plate and let's say I decided to do that and from this point on I'd like to have the bullets recorded in a different color let's make them red so now starting on shot number 13 my shots are recorded in a different color when I go to see or review this information I'll be able to see that and I will have a comment positioned exactly on the shot or before the shot when I made the change. So in this way I can enter my hits, position them easily on the screen with minimum disruption to my routine and record any number of shots that I choose. There's no limit to the number of shots. You can have a session that runs uh, several hundred shots if you, so if you so choose. Now when you're finishing recording these shots you can go back to the summary which will show you the elapsed time of your practice session, the average time for each shot, number of shots recorded, the score which was 189 out of 200, 195.1 calculated in tenths of a point. You can view the history of the shots from the last shot all the way back to the first. And of course you can go to the review display which then lets you review your practice session and you can select here how many shots you wish to see on the screen. You can review your session one shot at a time, which will then give you a playback shot by shot of what you fired. 
Each shot displayed will show you its position as well as its value and the shot time, the amount of time that shot took. If you'd rather see groups of five, you can change that. And now you can review your session in groups of five. The display will zoom in and out based on the size of the group and how much space is required for the display. Now you can choose to store this information on your iPhone, but you may want to export it and store it in a printed version. And this can easily be done simply by selecting the export by email. When you select export by email, you will enter an email address and these email addresses are stored in the application for repeat use. You also have to enter the number of shots that you wish to be recorded on each target. So let's say you want to see groups of five, you could select groups of 10, 20 or all the shots on one target and you click your export button. When you do that, the system will create an email which is then sent to the email address that you selected and on this email summary, you will see the information about the session you created, the date, the time, the range information, the type of practice that you were doing and you will see in groups of five because that's what we selected, the shots recorded, what their value and direction were. In addition, you will have a time analysis which will show you in, in steps of five seconds, how many shots were recorded between one and six seconds, there were 12 shots with an average result of 9.9. .9. Between six and 10 seconds, there were three shots with an average result of 10.3. Of course, none of this is realistic because I was entering the shots faster than you would if you were truly shooting. But this information here will allow you to view and analyze what speed and what rate of fire produces the best result for you. It'll also give you a graphic display of the shots as they were recorded. And you can see that here the shots become red because at that point in our practice session we made an adjustment. And you can see that after shot number 12 there's a note, lower the shoulder plate and the color change to red. So you can always note that from this point on you've made that adjustment and the shots are then displayed in a different color. And you can use several colors during one practice session if you're making various adjustments. And this is the new ISSF trainer available shortly on the App Store.